Hey guys, how's it going? Kriparian here. This week, top three decks of the week, we're going to talk about the top three off meta, the really off meta. We're going to talk about Druid. So, uh, you know, before we get into the best Druid decks on week five of the Rostcon expansion, I just want to reiterate a couple of things. So these videos are made using statistics that I find relevant from Hearthstone Replay generally, and the different details that I can find for those numbers. They're fairly objective statistics, and the ranges that I pick are decks performing between ranks 1 and 5, which I find the most competitive overall. Yes, there is Legend, but a lot of people play joke decks at Legend, so it kind of skews things around, well, a lot. Now, the other thing I want to mention is uh, Druid is obviously not the best uh, deck of the week. Uh, we're just going to talk about that because it's kind of an interesting talking point that I think deserves a highlight. But if you want to play the absolute best decks possible right now, the last top three decks of the week video that we made, week three, it is absolutely 100% relevant still. Uh, those are still the best decks in the game as it turns out. Um, they haven't even changed placements. You got Odd Pally, Even Pally, um, you have Death Rattle Hunter, and then some people consider Even Shaman and Spell Hunter as tier one, but really their win rates haven't changed and the hierarchy really hasn't changed. So it's just kind of they moved those decks from tier two to tier one where really nothing really changed in the last two weeks in Hearthstone. But one thing that has changed is Druid. People, very few people, have started playing Druid again, and the numbers are actually not bad. And they're not bad to a point where I think we should talk about them, because I know a lot of you guys are Druid players, and Druid is not quite, quite as dead as most people think. Even I didn't think it was as dead uh, before I, you know, actually looked into the stats, and, you know, here we are making this video. So, uh, there are some very interesting things that happened with Druid. First off, um, we had Wild Growth and Nourish nerfed, uh, along with a bunch of other stuff, and um, that's big. You know, when, when Blizzard nerfs cards, everyone disenchants those cards. So it's kind of like an artificial drop in play rate. You know, uh, yes, Druid is not being played very much because it kind of sucks in many regards. But Druid's also not being played much because people disenchanted core cards that are still being played in some of the very best Druid decks. And that's a very important statistics that, you know, everyone should understand when cards are nerfed. All right. So to get into it, uh, the very best Druid deck right now is Fast Mechathun Druid. Um, and the deck's actually not bad. Uh, it's, you know, some versions of the deck are in the high 50s for win rate. As a comparison, um, in those same data ranges, the very best decks in the game, the very best versions of like Odd Paladin and Even Paladin are typically in like, you know, 60 point something win rate. So it's really, it's really pretty good. Druid overall is absolute garbage, but some of these decks are certainly quite competitive, more so than the overall stats would like uh, would, would like to show, and that is because these decks are not being played. These decks are very low play rate, but the people that are playing them are actually doing very well with them. So uh, how does this deck work? Basically, you play Mechathun, and then you naturalize your own Mechathun. You know, that's pretty standard stuff, but it's the very fast version of uh, Mechathun. Um, previously, the better version of Mechathun is kind of like a hybrid, it has some fast elements, it had some slow elements. This is the super fast elements, and the reason this deck works is because, well, no one's playing it, so no one is really tanking against it. Um, combo really took a nosedive with Druid being nerfed, and Mechathun Druid is a pretty strong combo deck at a core. And that core is coming back, and there's not much stopping it right now. There are a few decks, but not a lot. Um, so, you know, What's, what's survived in this version of Mechathun? Uh, you get, you get your Wild Pyros, uh, double Auctioneer, uh, even, even the decks that ran Auctioneer before typically ran one. Double Auctioneer is pretty risky because if you have Auctioneer near the bottom of your deck, uh, you might find an opponent who just, doesn't want to kill your auctioneer, just leaves it on the board, and you literally can't win in those cases. So it can really suck sometimes. This deck is uh, can be very frustrating to play because it loses to itself. So you have the wild power, you have the auctioneer, and you have a whole bunch of cheap spells. Um, don't think any of the specific cheap spells are really uh, super important individually, but just the fact that you have cheap spells and you have a lot of synergy from cheap spells uh, along with getting rid of your hand and deck it seems to, on average, work out quite well. In the mulligan stage, the three cards you're looking for is number one, Auctioneer. 
didn't believe that, but that is in fact the case. The highest win rate card to keep in your opening hand is Gadget and Auctioneer. Then it's Acolyte of Pain, and then it's Ferocious Howl. So not too bad there. Um, bad matchups include Control Warlock, because Control Warlock is kind of like the anti-combo, but there's not too many people playing combo decks, um, so there's not a lot of control locks. Uh, then it loses pretty bad to Death Rattle Rogue, but Death Rattle Rogue's kind of like a really bad version of Death Rattle Hunter. No one's really playing Death Rattle Rogue. So then we have a uh, third bad matchup. We have uh, Death Rattle Hunter. Okay, there's a lot of people playing Death Rattle Hunter. This deck is pretty bad against Death Rattle Hunter, but it crushes all the other slow decks, and it does pretty well against the non-sticky aggressive decks. So it actually does pretty well against decks like Odd Palin. It's not like the best deck ever against Odd Palin, but it does pretty well against some of the other meta decks out there, including those. Second best Druid deck being played right now is Slow Mechathune Druid. It's, it's quite a different deck. It plays very differently, even though the bad matchups are about the same, and we'll talk about that in a second. Um, I think it's different enough that it deserves a separation from Fast Mechathune Druid. Slow Mechathune Druid does not lose to itself very often. It does not have as aggressive card draw. It does not have as many fast spells as the fast Mechathune Druid. Uh, new additions to this deck are basically none. We played this deck in the last expansion even. Um, it's a pretty good deck. Uh, I would say it's actually a pretty fun deck. It's particularly good now because no one's expecting Druid and fewer people are expecting combo decks. The other reason why it's good right now is the aggro decks that exist have slowed down a little bit with Odd Paladin being nerfed and the slow version of Mechathune Druid does incredibly well against non-sticky aggro decks. In terms of the mulligan choices, you want to pick your UI because it's a slow deck. There's not that much card draw. UI is quite well playable. And the only way that you really lose to yourself playing this deck is by having UI near the bottom of your deck. So on one hand, it's important to have card draw in your hand. But on the other, it's really important that UI is not at the bottom of your deck. So keep UI in your mulligans. Then you have Wild Growth. Wild Growth still stuck around. And then you have Oaken Summons for the third card you want in your opening hand. The bad matchups are identical identical to the fast Mechathune Druid, but this is where it gets really interesting. So because it is a slower um, Mechathune Druid, the bad matchups are actually worse. Okay, so uh, you lose even worse to Control Warlock. You lose even worse to like Death Rattle Rogue and Death Rattle Hunter, but your good matchups are so much better because your deck is more consistent. This deck absolutely smashes control decks. And, you know, while the fast Mechathune Druid does pretty well against the likes of, like, Odd Pal, and not remarkably, but pretty well, and pretty well in general against aggro, Slow Mechathune Druid annihilates those decks. Slow Mechathune Druid is, you know, just good against every single Paladin deck that has been imagined in, in this standard meta, for example. So it does very well. Um, if it was just to my personal taste, I would probably play the Slow Mechathune Druids, but it's the numbers game. Fast Mechathune Druid wins out a little bit more overall. Third best Druid deck of the week we have Mildruid. Mildruid has survived, but there are some changes, and these changes, I think, will uh, reflect in newer Druid decks if uh, they do come up in the upcoming months. So the new version of Mildruid includes Greedy Sprite. Apparently, Greedy Sprite is just better than Wild Growth. It's three mana for mana ramp, and it gives you some presence on the board, and it can be uh, Oaken Summoned Out. So it's not bad. It's not bad. New additions, Nourish. So you're like, uh, Crip, Nourish, really? Well, this particular deck, I've been taking a close look at it, um, and what happened is, um, again, likely because of the artificial changes from cards being nerfed, people just disenchant every copy that they own of it, um, but Mildrew didn't have Nourish like days ago, and now they have Nourish again. So it's actually a new addition. The new addition is Nerfed Nourish, really. Nerfed Nourish is the new addition to Mill Druid. And um, I think this is what actually makes the deck good. This deck overall does better than uh, any other form of Druid, except the Mechathune versions I just mentioned. And uh, in the Mulligan stages, the best card in your opening hand is Nerfed Nourish. So as it turns out, people just kind of realize that Nerfed Nourish, at least in Mildrud, is just good enough to play, but not even just good enough. It's like one of the best cards in the deck 
after it's nerfed. So I guess it's, it's a pretty fair nerf then. <laughs> I mean, it has to be. Uh, next up in your mulligan, you want Dream Petal Florist, just because you only have one, and it's uh, a card you kind of need to set up. So it's better to draw it faster rather than later. And the other card is Ferocious Howl, just a good combination between draw and stall. The bad matchups are, once again, very similar to the previous decks. Um, and uh, yeah, that's just kind of how Druid works. Uh, Druid have very powerful combos. There's very few decks that counter combos. There's basically Control Warlock, but not a lot of people playing combos, so Control Warlock is not very popular. And Druid does pretty well against handling minions that... When they die, they actually stay dead. But when it comes to very difficult to remove death rattle minions, uh, those that, you know, death rattle rogue and death rattle hunter, which are the other two bad matchups like to run, well, it becomes seriously problematic. So it has very key bad matchups, which means that if you're not seeing a lot of death rattle decks, if you're not seeing control warlocks wherever you are right now on the ladder, if you like playing druid, uh, you're really not at a disadvantage. You can try one of the three decks. Um, the Mill Druid has a, you know, bit of a more modest win rate, but the Mechathun Druids are actually very good decks. And uh, yeah, surely this video will help people realize that. But, uh, you know, if you, have, if you have the lists, you can get ahead of the game and give it a try first. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys check out the next one. <laughs>